What's up guys, Farrell's here. Talk about the legends real quick and then we'll talk about a topic that's hot in the community today. I think you guys will be interested. So first up, let's jump on over to Mudhead like we always do. You've got Lawyer Malloy and Dallas Clark from The weekend. Lawyer Malloy, his boss edition. Tip drill, big hitter, field general, good chemistry. He's only six feet tall, but at strong safety, he's got the 96 speed, which will juice up, 97 hit power. Look, this is just another example of an end game style player that if you get, you got to feel pretty good about. Obviously, the tip drill version of Mike Evans, that's an NAT uh, ticket. You could use him. He's taller, uh, more length to Landon Collins. We're starting to get close to the area where he'll be available. Um, and then, of course, you have some really good free safeties like the Dawkins. If you were lucky enough to get one of those, uh, you could move him over and feel, feel pretty good. Obviously, Paul Krause. So some really good options at safety. That's one of the reasons I would say maybe don't go to the Malloy. But even his speed version is pretty good uh, at this point in the season if you could, you know, just want a really fast option uh, back there. For Dallas Clark, he has playmaker at tight end, which we've seen a few times this season, but um, always really good now. I think it's the third guy to have it. He's the shortest guy that would have it. He'd be the best route runner, although the other guy had 96 uh, that Clint put out as his ticket. So Clarks are pretty amazing all year long. This guy's not a great um, strength guy, not a great run blocker, but as a route runner, you know, maybe I flat out just say at this point in this season, this Dallas Clark doesn't do enough. At the start of the year, he did some really unique things for a tight end, but now you have guys that have the route running and speed that he possessed early, not quite that speed, but um, that also have the size and a little bit of the catch in traffic who can block a little bit better. So maybe you go with the Shockey, maybe you go, uh, they don't have the playmaker, but maybe you grab the NAT uh, ticket. If you pull him, you, you feel good about it. Or I think the win, not Winslow, Newsom has it. So um, Clark's not as rare of a tight end unicorn as he was at the start of the year, but he's still really, really good for a route running pass catching. And then you could get a really cheap chemistry edition playmaker tight end. That's probably the biggest uh, pro tip of this one is if you wanted a playmaker tight end, you can't afford one of the expensive guys. You get this chemistry version, hopefully for cheap and could help you out. I don't think you're going to get the route running of 96 with just SE. So that's a look at that. There was some um, another ultimate ticket milestone set. So if you have a bunch of milestones saved up, now's the time. Hopefully you've been doing those during the season and not quite maybe spending them. Uh, but most importantly, I think today the biggest news in the community was Twitch made it uh, subscriptions for affiliates coming this week. So before, you had to be partnered with Twitch to be able to get subscriptions from fans. Um, however, now with the Twitch blog, we'll read out exactly what is available for folks. So for streamers, subscriptions are an important tool, uh, tool to help grow their community and build uh, up their channel for viewers. Subscribing is kind of just what you do, right? Um, now, so before it was only for partnered streamers. Now affiliates will be able to stream. So very, very cool opportunity for Twitch streamers who maybe aren't partner yet or uh, are looking ahead and, and thinking, man, I really want to stream, but I, I have you know other responsibilities or I don't have the time or it's going to take me too long to build up my channel partnered. I heard J.O. had to apply to get partnered like 37 times and he was streaming for years and they say you want 300 viewers and how am I going to get 300 viewers at one time? That just seems so far out of the picture. I can't even break that down into a goal to get there. Well now if you're able to get to the affiliate status, much much easier you'll be able to actually get partnership. Now some people in the community I think were uh, not pleased about that. I couldn't be happier. I can't believe how awesome this is for people that are new creators that are trying to get their channel started and are maybe over on YouTube. I mean, there's the platform, the channel, you whether it's YouTube, whether it's Twitch, whether you're making stuff on Instagram, whether you're used to make stuff on Vine, like who cares where you do it, but the more places you can be rewarded for doing it and grow yourself, and turn it into something that you see value from. I mean, 
Let me know in the comments if you've ever thought about streaming. First question, have you ever thought about streaming? Two, if not streaming, because maybe you don't want to do live, have you ever thought about... I, I want to record some of my games. I'd like to put some of my game film out there, maybe on YouTube or maybe on, on Twitter. That would be number two. Have you ever thought about starting your own YouTube channel? And number three, if you haven't started, if you haven't wanted to stream or you haven't wanted to be on YouTube, have you ever, answer honestly, if you haven't wanted to do those two, have you ever either used the PlayStation screenshot button, the Xbox box screenshot button, or have you ever at any point when in your Madden career, whether it was a great play that you made or whether something happened to you in the game that you said, this is the game, so I'm going to put it out there. I'm going to show my friend that this was baloney. Taking a picture with your phone and sent it to somebody, not on Twitter, just sent it, sent it to somebody through a text message. Have you ever gotten a poll that you took a screenshot of? Have you ever recorded a play like you had a kick return and you like video the screen and sent it out? Have you ever done that? Because if you've done that number three, I don't know why you wouldn't consider doing one or two, which is Twitch or YouTube or any other channel. So if you guys are content creators out there, you might not even know you're a content creator. It might just be something that you want to do. And maybe you don't want to do it. Uh, but what I'm here to say is, and I know a lot of people are, are thinking it, Madden 18 is a new game. It's the start of like a new season. It's going to be the start of a big community push coming back. Like everybody will be back. People right now played Madden 17. We had the championship. Uh, big stuff. Then now EA Play. Now Madden 18 news starts coming out. People play Madden 18. They go, all right, news is starting to come out. I got to go to the beach. I got to get a tan. Because once August hits, I'm not doing anything but playing Madden 18. They're kind of taking July. You recharge your batteries. You think, man, maybe I'll play some Battlefield. Just kind of relax. Keep my thumbs warm. Keep them trained up. But maybe you're just getting ready for Madden 18. Start thinking about maybe you go back to work in the summer. You start mowing some lawns. You get some pack money for the launch. Who knows? Uh, but basically, you now have an opportunity to grow a channel, to be part of something. And the launch of a game, there's never a better time to do it. So that's something I would consider. If you guys are thinking about it, let me know. If you guys want to know questions like, how do I stream? What does my setup look like? How long have I been streaming? Why do I stream? For all this is YouTube, I didn't even know that you streamed. Uh, you can ask me those questions in the comments, but get excited. I mean, this is the start of something amazing. Obviously, on YouTube, you don't need to be uh, quite partnered. It doesn't take as long to get ramped up to be able to start uh, growing your channel. But this is amazing. This is really something cool, and I think... This might be news that maybe slips past your radar. I think it would have slipped past my radar today, but the reason it caught my radar is because some people that have grinded to become partners weren't happy that smaller people will now be able to get revenue. But that's awesome. That's tremendous. It's great. You all have opportunities. If you watch this channel, now's your chance. Now's your chance. Don't delay. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Uh, those questions we talked about, the legends, every day we'll do it. We'll grow a little something. And uh, until next time, this is Farrells reminding you to lock up. One final note, I would say, bagels. I did a little bagel review. Uh, over on Instagram, Madden Bible is my Instagram, guys. You know, I have Twitter, I have Instagram. But basically, if you follow me over on the Madden Bible Instagram channel, uh, that is the spot where I I do food reviews. Sometimes I've logged a few re food reviews, but it's not every not every time I have my camera uh, where I can do a full vlog. I do have some bagel footage on here, so I will uh, I'll do a, a mini vlog about that. But I'll probably do a Fourth of July vlog and some other content. But I'll be making sure to post Instagram stories on the Madden Bible Instagram. And 
and we'll get some food this weekend. So if you guys are around for that, stop on over, give that a follow. That'll be a great place to get Madden, 8, Madden 18 news leading up to launch. Any uh, new stuff that comes out, we'll be chatting about it over there, and we'll be ready to go for the launch of Madden 18. So cool Twitch news, cool legends, cool Instagram.com slash Bible. Follow me there. We'll talk soon. Until next time, guys, lock up.